Okay, well, I've managed to come out today. Uh, I don't have my normal camera, so I won't be able to do macros and whatnot, but I'm under this tree, and that field that is unsearchable is the old stables. But this tree, the nettles were up so high all through the summer, but they've pretty much died off now. And I've come under to give it a wee go. There's um, a gate that would have led into the stables, and there is standard old tree. Um, had a couple of signals, nothing much. And then, this little beauty. Uh, I don't really know. It looks like it could maybe be a badge, a cat badge or something, but... There's some excellent detail still on it. But it is a fantastic find. It's worth coming out just to get this alone. Seems to have a castle in the front of it. There's a little lip just in the back, but I can see that's maybe going to come off if I remove the mud. Um, I'll just put this in the finds bag like this just now and delicately clean it up when I get home. But that is a beauty. I think that's a thistle, if you look at the top of it. And the ball with the motif, that is brilliant. Really, really nice. Okay, well, I'll give this tree area a good thorough search and see if I can turn up anything more like this, or maybe some coins. And here's all three finds come out the same hole, which is just the next one here. I um, can confidently say that under here has never been metal detected before, because there's no way you wouldn't have dug that. It was just beeps and high numbers everywhere, and I thought I might have been on a coin spill, but as it happened, it was a handle of sorts, probably a spoon handle, half an iron ring, and a pull tab part. So... There we go, I will keep going under here because I've only dug about three holes and I've had about seven or eight things. <laughs> so, on to the next. Okay, so the next find, uh, as you see, coming in at a 28. And it is the other part to that handle. I said probably a spoon or something. It's a fork. <laughs> the tines on that are thick. It's an interesting fork. But, um, yeah, this place seems to be coming alive quite well, so I will keep searching it. See if anyone that was picnicking has maybe dropped some coins. Okay, get back to it. Oh, there's the new coil by the way, I don't think I've actually shown this. It's the uh, Tornado 12 by 13 from Nell, and it is pretty good. Um, there's been a wee bit of issue getting used to the pinpoint with it, but I have it. Uh, with the mine lab I was drawn back the coil until the signal disappeared and I was digging straight in front. Uh, with this one, because of the surface area, it's best not to do that. Um, it's best to just find the signal, you know it's directly underneath it, and just dig it a circle, almost the width of the coil. So anyway, that's my tip for nails, but I'll get back to it. Okay, well here we go with the first coin. Um, it's right under this big stump here. just popped it out and we're looking at a penny. Nice big clod still on the back. Um, it's not immediately clear who it is. So midges are starting to come out as well, they're getting a bit up my eyes. Sorry for that wild camera movement there. <laughs> yeah, I'll pop this off the clod and see what we've got. Is that? So there we go. One penny, nineteen ten, nineteen ten. Is that? Let's see if we can get that in focus there. Yep, looks like nineteen ten. So is that first year of George five? Uh, 
Well, it's obscure just now, so I'm not 100%, but I think it's the first year of George V. Or the last year of Edward VII. But either way, it's an excellent coin and want to get me started off for the day. Nice. Alright, I have managed to make it out tonight after work and I've been out for probably the better part of an hour um, and I've just happened across this which looks enticingly like a coin ball Looks like a pretty big coin if it is um, so we'll get it open and see what see what we've got. It's Elizabeth two, so I think this is maybe an old two pence. Or I could be completely wrong. Oh no, it's just an old one penny. One of the uh, original Elizabeth II ones. I've never found one of these before, so that's a good one. It's Britannia that. And where is she? And there's Elizabeth on that side there. Very nice, one for the collection. <laughs> 